assalamu alaikum students i am your computer teacher aisha anwar today we are going to revise some concepts from your chapter number 2 that we have already discussed in our previous video today we will revise them again and will study few more new topics we have started software basics let's revise the concept of a software what is a software we discussed that a software is a group of programs that tells the computer what to do and how to do or in short a software is a set of instructions there are basically two types of software system software and application software first of all we will discuss system software we have discussed in our previous video which is about system software it is a group or collection of software that is designed to control operate and and enhance the processing capabilities of the computer or we can say that it is the basic software that is required to operate the computer if system software is absent then computer is just a dummy hardware which is of no use for us there are basically three types of system software operating system device drivers and utility programs today we will revise operating system and will discuss about de device drivers and utility programs these are the features that we have already discussed let's revise them again system software are close to the system they are fast in speed they are difficult to maintain they are difficult to design and they are written in low level languages now operating system it is a software which manages the computer hardware and software resources it is basically the link between the hardware and software and it is also a link between the user and the hardware this can be explained with the help of this diagram you can see the user and you can see the hardware there are two things between the user and the hardware one is the application software and the other is the operating system so which means we the users can not communicate with the hardware if operating system is missing so these are the functions of operating system operating system is used to boot and provide user interface it manages the programs it provides us the file management and it is used to configure the devices these were the concepts that we discussed in our previous lecture today we are going to learn the new concept which is about device driver device driver enable the interaction of hardware devices your hardware devices cannot work properly if device drivers are missing or you can say that device drivers are the settings of the devices that are installed with the computer so in this diagram you can see that between the hardware and the operating system device driver works so it means device drivers instruct the operating system what to do for example printer when the printer is installed with the computer we have to install its device driver when we install the drivers the drivers intimate the to the operating system that some new type of hardware is installed if these drivers are missing for any device that device will not work properly the hardware device will fail to work without a proper device drivers it acts as the interface between the device and the operating system okay the third type of system software is utility programs 
utility programs that add functionality to your computer and help it perform better is done by the utility programs there are different type of utility programs that are available like disk cleaner photo viewer and file explorer all of these are included in windows operating system they help us to perform a task in easier way we can also say that utility software helps maintain or, or configure a computer many of these are installed at the same time as the operating system but they can also be added afterwards it means that they are installed with the operating system when you install the operating system they are by default present in them but few of the utility programs can also be added after the windows installation here is a list of some commonly used utility programs they can be disk defragmentation software updates system cleanup encryption or decryption and some type of antivirus software so we can categorize utility programs into three types disk cleanup file explorer and photo viewer let's have a look on them this is the disk cleaner it allows you to manage your disk space it helps to clean the disk with the unnecessary files and it is always safer to use disk cleanup utility so whenever you open a window or you can click on the folder icon this type of file explorer is open file explorer is basically used to explore different files or explore different folders all of you must have seen that but few of you know its name it is known as file explorer you can see the different parts of the file explorer for example these are the tabs in the ribbon this is the back forward and up buttons this is known as the address bar which shows uh, your current location you can search over here it is known as search box these are the files and folders and this pane is known as the navigation pane and the third one is photo viewer most of you are familiar with it whenever you open a photo or a picture it is always opened with the help of photo viewer that's all for today from next lecture we will start learning about application software thank you